One time I persuaded my kid brother to swallow a torch. It was worth it just to see his little face light up. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's almost Christmas time. I can't wait for Christmas, man. It's the best time ever with the family. Yeah, this is Gary Delaney's best Christmas one-liners. Gary Delaney is Sarah Millican's husband. Legend, legend. Sarah Millican, even though Sarah Millican, genius. So yeah, let's see what this is. Let's go. Hello, happy Christmas. <laughs> I'd like to start by saying it's disappointing given the size of the sign behind me, the Noel Edmonds hasn't even bothered to turn up. <laughs> I went to buy a Christmas tree. The guy said, are you gonna put it up yourself? I said, no, I was thinking the living room. <laughs> Christmas morning, we'd always wake up and go, has he been, has he been, has he been? because we knew Dad wouldn't put the presents out until after he'd had a shit. <laughs> Wasn't the jingling of bells we listened out for in our house, believe you me. <laughs> me and my little sister under the covers, I think I can hear Santa straining. <laughs> I think I can smell his reindeer. <laughs> yeah, this year I switched the lights on in Carlisle. It's nothing to do with Christmas, but they've got electricity now, so that's good. <laughs> I bought an advent calendar for Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Behind every door, somebody tells you to piss off. Do you know what? I keep getting scared to take a sip of my, of my coffee because it's so hot and these jokes are so funny. I keep thinking I'm going to spill it on myself. This guy's a genius, man. So, so good. I'm loving it already. I bought a Travelodge advent calendar. It's still got chocolate in, but you can't open the windows. <laughs> I got a Microsoft advent calendar. You open too many windows at once and they all shut again for no bloody reason. I took a poll recently and 100% of people were quite annoyed that their tent had fallen down. <laughs> Last week I launched a book aimed at 9 to 12 year olds and I'm proud to say I hit one of the little shits. <laughs> I remember one time the teacher asked me for a word with four eyes and I said Mississippi. He said no, I mean I want to have a word you specky twat. <laughs> A friend of mine's been suffering from paranoid delusions and now he thinks he's a chocolate orange. Good. I worry he's going to be sectioned. <laughs> Poor Terry. <laughs> I used to be a fortune teller, but all he ever predicted was really cold winters. Mm. Turned out the crystal ball shop had sold me a snow globe. <laughs> In my last job, I just used to punch buttons all day, and that's why I'm no longer allowed to do panto. What's that? I nearly lost my job as a roofer when I was caught masturbating on the first day. Luckily, my boss said I could wipe the slate clean. Oh. <laughs> New Year's a time for getting healthier, isn't it, you know? Next year, I've decided that I'm going to do dry January and see if I can manage an entire month without any foreplay. <laughs> my golf instructor said I need to work on my follow-through. I said, is it my swing? He said, no, you've got shit down the back of your trousers. <laughs> found out two new things this week. One, sperm isn't actually good for your skin. Oh. And two, my dermatologist has been struck off. <laughs> my dad's been suffering from seizures. So far they've taken his car, his house and his boat. <laughs> 
My wife always cheats when she's on a diet. She so hides okay. bars of chocolate all around the house and fucks other men. <laughs> no need for that. One time I went to A&E with a vacuum cleaner nozzle stuck up my ass. Oh. The nurse said, how did that happen? I said, well, I was doing the vacuuming naked and I decided to stick the nozzle up my ass. Oh. <laughs> You should have seen the look on Henry's face. <laughs> and he'd only just come out the closet. <laughs> People who say that ketamine should be banned should get down off their high horse. <laughs> I've currently got a stalker, but you probably can't tell in these trousers. Dirty <laughs> person. <laughs> Christmas is a time for all the family to get together, isn't it? You know. This Christmas I'm taking the whole family to Lapland, which is great, because normally those clubs don't let kids in. <laughs> Stuck look. One time I persuaded my kid brother to swallow a torch. It was worth it just to see his little face light up. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I see a respected actor in Panto, I always like to shout, it's beneath you! I don't like sex in the shower, it's slippy, dangerous, and one of the worst things about prison. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Christmas can put a lot of strain on relationships, you know can't it? But you know what, apparently, I feel like the older I get, obviously I'm not planning to go to prison, God forbid, nothing like that. But apparently, the prison in England is meant to be grand. You know, whenever I see all these documentaries, you know, to, uh, prisoners talking about their time, I think there's different categories like A, B, C, D. I'm not sure which one. Whether A is the easy, not the easiest, but the lightest or D is the lightest. But apparently, it's not too bad. People get Netflix, they get PlayStation, they have their own room sometimes. But yeah, let me know. Can anyone confirm that? Thank you. It really can, you know. But my wife and I are a great match because I've got a nine inch penis and she doesn't know which way around to hold a ruler. <laughs> I'm not saying my wife's embarrassed about me, Good. but at our wedding I was only invited to the evening do. <laughs> my wife says that if I carry on being so pedantic all the time, eventually I'll find I've got less and less friends. I said, no, I won't. I'll find I've got fewer and fewer friends. <laughs> that didn't help. We've been trying to recapture the sex life we had when we were younger, so the other day I sent her a dick pic and she texted back, unsubscribe. <laughs> when my wife suggests... Do you know what? One of my biggest fears is sending something like that to my family group chat. Oh my God. Like, if that happened to me, uh, I don't know what I'd do. I don't know. I can't, I can't go home for a few months. That's like one of my biggest fears. Just imagine sending that to your family group chat or to your work group chat. So, um, let me know. Have you guys sent it something crazy to someone that you obviously didn't mean to send? Let me know, please. Tell me your stories. Thank you. Suggested we try playing doctors and nurses. I was really hoping for something sexy and being left in a corridor for two days. Mm. <laughs> Whenever my wife says that she fancies an early night, I know that means sexy time. Because yeah. I can stay up late watching porn. <laughs> my wife bought herself a rampant rabbit. I wouldn't say it's her favorite sex toy, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> <laughs> when my wife's away, my favorite thing to do is to poo with the door open and really surprise the postman. Oh. Oh. I like to think of my wife as a trophy wife because her ears stick out and she's got the previous winner's names tattooed down her back. <laughs> when I suggested to my wife we try using a strap-on, she was right behind me. <laughs> of course, the best part of having an argument is making up afterwards with hot, angry sex. 
But if anything, that made the traffic warden even more cross. <laughs> Uh, you have to be careful on the roads at this time of the year, don't you? I had a very stressful journey getting here today. All the way, this lorry driver was right up my ass, but it was nice of him to give me a lift. <laughs> Things I'll do for a Yorkie. <laughs> I don't carry a donor card. I find it depressing enough the amount of women who've rejected my organ whilst I'm alive. <laughs> I was at the dentist, he said, I have to warn you, this is going to hurt. I said, what is it? He said, your wife thinks I've got a bigger cock. <laughs> I said, you think that, but she doesn't know which way round to hold a ruler. <laughs> Did you know, if you were to take Katie Hopkins' head and put it on Piers Morgan's body, they'd both die, which is good. <laughs> Apollo, you've been absolutely lovely. Thank you very much and happy Christmas. Uh, no, no, that was fantastic. Every single one. I probably say I probably didn't get probably like three or four, but he said like at least close to 30 line, 31 liners, and most of literally were so, so good. It, him and Sarah Millican, they would get along literally so. Obviously, they, they're married. You can see why it's working for them. Two comedy geniuses living together. Oh my God. Ridiculous. Please, please, let me know any more uh, comedians you want to check out, especially during this Christmas time. Any any cool ones, any more, you know, any comedy jokes, any one-liners, any sketches. I'm starting to do a lot of, I've done a lot of two, um, two Ronnies, a lot of uh, Ari Chums, Ari, Ari Enfield and Chums. So things like, I love stuff like that. I love sketches. So yeah, don't be shy. Make sure you comment down below. Check out the Patreon and let me know what you want to see. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.